Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing a little NCAA Football 14. It is Southern Utah Thunderbirds Dynasty. And we're in season number seven. And after today's game, we will have reached the midway point of the season. We're coming off of a loss against Louisiana Tech in our opening Conference USA matchup. So we're 4-1 overall. And we are 0-1 in Conference USA. Trying to bounce back against the team with the worst record in Conference USA, the Old Dominion Monarchs. They are 0-4, 0-1 in conference play. Overall, though, since joining FPS, they are 85-76. and 76. They have an 0-1 bowl record. They have lost four in a row. We are 36-44 and 44 overall. We are 0-2 in bowl games, and we have lost just that last game last week against Louisiana Tech. Uh, we're averaging 25,683 fans in attendance. That's pretty good for us. Old Dominion is not good, however, at 4,307. Butts in seats every game. So it's going to be a meager crowd on the road in Norfolk, Virginia. Let's look at some statistics here. Dante Summers not having an overall great season. Uh, four touchdowns, eight interceptions, 911 yards. Corey Cook, 399 yards on the ground, 79.8 yards per game. I'd like that to be a little bit higher. Ollie Hicks is our leading receiver at 43.6 yards per game. Palmer has 35 tackles. Dallas Dean has five interceptions in five games. Let's look at the Monarchs of Old Dominion. Scott Smart, 893 yards passing, seven touchdowns, four interceptions. And uh, Crowder is their leading rusher. 227 yards overall, 56.8 yards per game. Mooney is their leading receiver, 74.8 yards per game. Uh, they only have one guy with one interception and a guy with two sacks as their leader. And you are looking live on a Saturday afternoon from the East Coast. It's Southern Utah and Old Dominion from Foreman Field in Norfolk, Virginia. Old Dominion at 0-4, Southern Utah at 4-1. Uh, and, and we're looking to right the ship after a uh, conference opening loss against Louisiana Tech. All right, Myers will field the kick from the 4. He's out across the 20 to the 24-yard line. And that is where Dante Summers and the offense will start for the T-Birds here at the midway point of the season. Corey Cook makes the catch, gains a yard, second down and nine. We are looking for back-to-back -back West Division titles, but we might have to win out if we're going to do that, depending on how the other teams do in this division. Justin or Gary Smith makes the catch. Gary Smith picks up a first down for the Thunderbirds. This is Adams in motion from the right side. Cook to the left of Dante Summers. Here's the give to Corey Cook. He squeezes through a small window, picks up a yard, second down and nine for the T-Birds. Give to Corey Cook again on the left side. He's going to get up near midfield into, well, not quite into Old Dominion territory. And uh, now he goes down right at the 50. Second down and nine for the T-Birds. Simeon Urban, backup running back, gets the carry there. It'll be third down and six for the T-Birds. Just on the plus side of the 50, here's the throw to Urban out of the backfield, and he is stopped after two yards, and we'll have to punt it away on fourth down and five. So we ate up half the quarter, but we didn't get anything out of it. Now here is Scott Smart and the Old Dominion Monarchs. Ben Marshall makes the catch, tackled there by William Sowell. Wayne Sowell, sorry, I keep calling him William. Wayne Sowell, and here is Smart again. Dallas Dean comes up to make the hit. Third down and one for the Monarchs. Marshall in motion. Old Dominion running kind of an Air Force style ground attack. Triple option type offense. Frank Howell goes nowhere. Second down and 10 play action. Marshall makes the catch right side. Dean makes the tackle, but it's a first down for the Monarchs up near midfield at their own 48 yard line. Scott Smart from the shotgun. Here's the throw. Marshall makes the catch. Ben Marshall picks up seven. It's second down and three for the Monarchs. And here is the read option kept by Smart. He's going to have the first down. Down to the 37-yard line. New set of downs for the Monarchs. ODU. 
Scott Smart picks up four, second and six. Read option, Smart's going to keep it. Manuel Poole comes up and makes the tackle. It'll bring up a third down for Old Dominion. Smart throwing right side, and it's nearly picked off by Dallas Dean, but it is incomplete. Fourth down and three, Monarchs going for it. Smart throwing left side, catch is made. It's Matthews, Stuart Matthews. Picks up 12, and ODU is inside the red zone for the first time today. Here is Smart. Pitches it to the right side to Marshall. Palmer comes up to make the tackle. Carlos Palmer, our leading tackler. Second down and seven for ODU. Give to Marshall left side. Looks like Crowder is out. And uh, we'll miss this game. Ben Marshall, the featured running back here. First down and goal for ODU. Smart throwing right side. Catch. No, it is dropped. We got a flag on the play. Ouch. That one hurts. It's going to be a first down and goal for ODU. Second and goal. Here is Smart. Smart's going to keep it, and he is tackled by Brooks Thompson. Third down and goal. Big play here. Fakes the dive. Pitch to the right side. He's stacked up by Dallas Dean and loses five and a nice goal line stand there for Southern Utah. Is going to force ODU to kick the field goal, and that kick splits the uprights. It was just a chippy. And ODU gets on the board first, it's three to nothing. This would be a horrible loss if we were to lose this game. ODU 0-4 on the season. At least Louisiana Tech is a pretty solid team. And we did lose to them 14-7 in a rainy. I don't know how much the rain contributed to that loss last week, but I would like to think it probably contributed some. We could never get the ground game going, and we couldn't move the ball through the air in the rain, and that cost us the football game last week in Cedar City against the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech. So we're 0-1 in conference, second down and six. First quarter has gone quickly. There's only 20 seconds left, and that will be the final play. End of the first quarter in Norfolk, Virginia. Old Dominion three, Southern Utah nothing. We move on now to quarter number two. Southern Utah with the football, a big third down play. Summers from the shotgun, throws it, it's picked off by Petway. How do you not see the linebacker right underneath over the middle? I don't know, but not a good throw there by Dante Summers and another interception. And those interceptions could derail the season if we're not careful. Second down and 10. Third down and 10 now after the incomplete pass. Smart from the shotgun. Smart throwing, catch made over the middle. It's Matthews. And it is Stuart Matthews for a first down for ODU. Smart from the shotgun. Smart throws right side, overthrows his intended target. Second down and 10 for the Monarchs. Here's the give, left side. Frank Howell picks up two. Third down and eight for ODU. Smart throws on the run. Howell makes the catch. Thompson misses the tackle, but Palmer's there to stop him short of the first down marker. It'll be fourth down and one, and ODU's kick is up. It's good. It is six to nothing. Monarchs with the lead. First down and 10. Summers from the shotgun. He throws it out to the left side to Cook. And uh, that was a loss of three. Second down at 13. Summers is going to keep it. Breaks a tackle. He's going to be short of the first down marker, though. Third down and four. Corey Cook to the right of Summers. Summers from the shotgun. And it's a screen pass that falls incomplete in traffic, and we have to punt it away again. Offense struggling once again here in Conference USA play. 7.23 to go in the third. ODU will start this drive on the plus side of the 50. Brendan McDowell makes the catch. Second down and eight. Pitch to Marshall on the right side. He's piled under by a host of Thunderbirds. Third down and ten for the Monarchs. Smart from the shotgun. Smart moving around in the pocket. Finally gets pulled down under pressure. Fourth down and 17. ODU will have to punt it away. This one is angled out of bounds. It's going to take a hop inside the 20 and go out of bounds at the uh, seven-yard line. Summers now keeps it. Picks up five. Second down. 5.45 to go, six to nothing, Monarchs with the lead. We're nearing halftime. Midway through the second quarter here. First down and 10, Summers quick screen over to uh, Manning. Andy Manning out across the 30 to the 32. Second down and one for SUU. Summers, dive play to Dunn and big John Dunn right up the middle. First down and 10, here's the give to Cook now. Cook stopped after a two yard gain, second down. And Summers is from the shotgun. Give to Cook again. We're trying to establish the running game. We didn't do it against Louisiana Tech. And quite honestly, we're not doing a great job of it here against ODU. And on third down and one, Corey Cook is stopped. 
And we'll have to punt it away again. The offensive line is not getting the job done here so far today. Smart over to the right side. Catch is, no, it's dropped. Second down and 10. Here is Poole out to Matthews. He gets a block. Brown ends up on the ground, and Sowell has to come over to make the tackle. Nice blocking downfield. And first down and 10. Smart right side to Swan, and Swan makes the catch. Second down and one, 234 to go. Here's Scott Smart. Over the middle, it's dropped. It'll bring up third down. Motion from the left side. Scott is under center. Fakes the dive. Pitches right side to Marshall. Marshall breaks some tackles and picks up the first down. That was all heart by Ben Marshall. First down and 10, ODU. Four-yard pickup for Marshall. Second and six. Two minutes to go. Marshall is hit. Loses five. Third down and 11. Big play for the SEU defense here. Smart. Screen pass. Left side. Marshall has it. And we've got a penalty. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Oh, man. That one hurts again. Second roughing the passer penalty. And this one will also keep a drive alive. And a nice catch by... Oh, there's Crowder. Crowder makes the catch. Stays on his feet. Second down and three. Smart. Air mails the pass. Third down and three. Smart now. Under center. Throwing left side. Catch is made by Crowder. So I guess Crowder's a wide receiver. Maybe they moved him. I don't know. He's their leading rusher. Here's the throw left side to McDowell, and it is dropped second down and 10. Scott Smart from the shotgun. Smart keeps it on the read option. ODU looking to add to their lead. It is third down and seven with less than a minute to go. Smart under pressure, flushed out to the left side. Balls on the turf, and it's picked up by Douglas. Douglas at the 30. He's out to the 40. And he will be pulled down from behind at the 43-yard line, but a huge momentum changer for Southern Utah. Let's see if we can do something with it. Down six to nothing, 45 seconds to go. Summers throws. Rhodes makes the catch. He makes a guy miss. He's at the 15, 10, 5, and he's pulled down at the 1. A 56-yard reception by Rhodes. First down and goal now at 26 seconds. Here's the give right side. Simeon Irvin, touchdown. What a change in momentum that was. A fumble recovery by Southern Utah. They turn it into seven. And we'll take a seven to six lead into the halftime break. Not great football being played right now by either team. As we go to the third quarter, let's see if we can clean it up and get back on track here. Here's the give to Marshall. He is hit by Jenkins in the backfield and goes down after a loss of two. Second down to 12. Smart throwing over the middle. He's got a man. It's broken up incomplete. Third down and 12. Blitz coming from the right side. McDowell makes the catch. Shy of the first down. It'll be fourth and seven. ODU will punt it away. Meyer standing at his 30. Will field it. And he's out to the 40. Cuts back to the left side. And he'll be piled under at the 45-yard line. First down to 10. Manning in motion. Two running backs in the backfield. Summers under center. Pitches to the left side to Cook. And Cook plows over a guy. Gets down to the 47. It'll be second down and three. Summers. Play action, rollout, dumps it off to Dunn in the flat. Third down and five. After a loss of yardage, Summers is going to keep it. He's going to have the first down and more. He's to the 40 and wrestled down there after a first down for Southern Utah. Give to Corey Cook. Corey Cook cuts back to the middle of the line of scrimmage, picks up six. Second down and four. Give to Cook again. No read option. Summers is going to keep it. Down inside the 20, 15, 10, five. Touchdown, Thunderbirds. Corey Cook with the touchdown run, and it is 14-6 early in the third, and maybe, just maybe, we are getting back on track here. 7-18 to go. 14-6, Southern Utah. Marshall picks up eight, second down and two. Smart, quick pass out to the left side to McDowell. McDowell across the 40 to the 41. First down for Old Dominion. Marshall again on the draw. He's going to pick up seven. Second down and three for the Monarchs. Throw right side. It's Mooney. And Mooney is swung down by Bob King. Third down and two. And a broken play. And Scott Smart is taken down by Brooks Thompson for a loss. It'll be fourth down and ODU will have to punt it away. This one's going to bounce inside the 10 and into the end zone for a touchback. That is where Dante Summers and Southern Utah will start on their second drive of the second half. Summers is flushed out. He's thrown right side, and it's underthrown. Summers doesn't have a really strong arm, to be honest. He has a hard time getting the ball downfield. A lot of his deep throws are underthrown. 
Over the middle, this is Ollie Hicks. On third down and five, he makes a 14-yard reception, and we move the sticks. Summers stepping up now. Runs into a blocker, and he'll go down. We got a flag. And it's going to be holding on Southern Utah. All the penalties on us so far this game. And we take a sack at second down and 26. Summers flushed out. Doesn't want to take another sack, so he unloads. It'll be third down and 26, and we're just going to concede the drive with a draw. Corey Cook picks up five and will punt it away. Jackson's kick will be fielded at the 25 by Matthews. And Matthews is decleated at the 37, 38-yard line. Give to Marshall. Marshall straight up the left hash mark, and he's going to be into Southern Utah territory. First down and 10 ODU. Read option. Scott Smart keeps it. Smart breaking tackles. Has a first down. 13-yard pickup. We're down to the 36-yard line. Smart now. Rolling out. Throws into the flat. Howell makes the catch. And Howell picks up eight. Just shaking off defenders. Second down and two. First down now for ODU. White is the new quarterback. As Scott was shaken up on that last play. White now on first down and goal. We got a touchdown. John Mooney from nine yards out. Mooney over my hammy. With the score, 14 to 12, Southern Utah. Here's the PAT, they're going for two. Try to tie this game up late in the third. Smart throws, catch, no, it is picked off. Intercepted and the two point uh, conversion try fails. 14 to 12, Southern Utah. Cook will fill this one. Cook back to receive the kick here. He doesn't return many. He makes some guys miss. He's out across the 40, 45, 50, and into uh, ODU territory. Cook in motion, late in the third here, 2.34 to go. Cook, momentum, carries him out of bounds, short gain. Second and nine, Summers from the shotgun. Summers stepping up, throwing right side. He's going to find Justin Smith, who has the first down from the shotgun now. Deep into Old Dominion territory. The give is to Corey Cook, and he'll pick up seven. Simeon Irvin now in the backfield. Irvin faked the handoff. Or sorry, Summers fakes the handoff to Irvin and keeps it. First down and 10. Simeon Irvin will forever be known as the player that broke the fourth down touchdown run to beat Michigan earlier this season. Now here's Andy Manning on a second down and 10. Picks up six. Third quarter coming to a close here. Third down and four. Summers looking end zone incomplete. And we'll have to bring in Calvin Jackson for a field goal. Makes it just a five-point game. So we are about to head to the fourth quarter here in Virginia. And uh, we're still in a precarious position here, only up by five against the uh, hapless Old Dominion Monarchs, who have yet to win a game, and their uh, losses include an FCS team to open up the season. Three seconds left in the quarter. That'll be it. We go to quarter number four. Southern Utah, 17, Old Dominion, 12. Here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming College Football, it's NCAA 14. We're in season number seven. Trying to earn a spot in the Big 12 Conference with a conference title, conference championship game win. But we got to get there first. Get to the championship first. We're 0-1 in conference. It's not a good start. First down and 10. Picks up two. Corey Cook now split out to the left. Summers out to Cook in the flat. And Cook going to be short of the first down. It'll be third down and one. I formation. Here's the give to Cook on the right side. He'll follow the lead uh, blocker. John Dunn through the hole, picks up a first down. And now play action, Summers, nice nice uh, pass protection pick up there by Cook. Summers is going to find Adams. Adams makes some guys miss and is down to the 31. First down to 10, SUU. Summers from the shotgun, setting up the screen. We haven't done a lot of screen pass passes to the running backs in this game. A few to the receivers so far. Third down and six now after a four-yard pickup for Corey Cook. Summers from the shotgun. Play action. Fakes the pass right side. Going deep. And it is caught touchdown. Justin Smith, the big tight end. He didn't have a ton of separation on the play. But it was enough. And it was an accurate throw by Dante Summers. It is now 24-12. Southern Utah, 7.30 to go in the game. And we've got a sack. It's Brooks Thompson. False start. And now I believe our first penalty of the game against the Monarch. Second down and 23. Smart shakes off 
a defender. Catch is made by Matthews out to the 31. Third down and manageable after it was third and or second and long. And Scott Smart, who is back into the football game, picks up the first down. Smart from the pocket, pass incomplete, dropped by a receiver out there. On the right side, second down and 10. Smart throwing, catch is made. No, it's out of bounds, incomplete. Third down and 10 for the Old Dominion Monarch. Smart under pressure, throws, catch is made, and he goes nowhere. Blitz coming from the left side. I believe it was a safety, fourth down and 10. ODU will have to punt it away. Scott Myers is going to let this one bounce, and it'll go into the end zone. For a touchback, we have six minutes left in the game. Southern Utah looking to melt away some of this clock here in the fourth quarter. Up 24 to 12. It hasn't been pretty, but we just want to get back in the win column. It doesn't matter how it happens. Third down and five. This is our final game against the East Division. The rest of the season, final six games of the year, will all be against the S uh, Conference USA West. As we have to punt this one away, Matthews will field it, and he's pushed out of bounds by Wayne Sowell. ODU starts near midfield. Here's the throw pass. It's picked off by King. King's at the 30. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Bob King, the corner, jumps the route. And that should pretty much do it here in Norfolk, Virginia. 4.20 to go in the game, and all of a sudden it's 31-12. to Southern Utah has exploded here in the second half. What was a 7-6 lead at halftime is now 31-12. Hasn't felt like we've really exploded, although the scoreboard looks like we have. Hasn't really felt that way. I guess uh, defensive touchdowns will do that. Third down and three. Hasn't felt like the greatest offensive performance by us, but we have points. So fourth down and two. ODU going for it. Over the middle to Thompson. He makes the catch. Thompson. Big number 75 in as an eligible receiver, I guess. Probably a backup tight end as a tackle, maybe. I don't know. Second down and one for ODU. Smart under center. Smart throwing right side. He's got a man. Makes the catch. Swan misses, uh, uh, missed tackles, and Swan goes down the sideline inside the red zone to the 11. False start. And we have another false start. First down and 15. 3.04 to go. Smart throwing right side. Catch is made. No, it's dropped. Or it's uh, caught out of bounds. Second down and 15. Smart. Flushed out. He's going to pull it down and run. A missed tackle. Smart's at the 10. Five slides down at the three. Or at the four, five, sorry. Third down and three. Smart now throwing. End zone. And it is broken up incomplete. It'll be fourth down. ODU keeping the offense on the field. Smart's going to keep it. He's hit in the backfield and dropped. And Southern Utah will take over. And that'll do it. They'll just run out the clock as ODU's out of timeouts. Final score here from Norfolk, Virginia. You see Dante Summers, our player of the game. Southern Utah 31, Old Dominion 12. And we'll take a look at some statistics here in a second. We get back on track with a win. We draw even in Conference USA play to 1-1. One one. We are now 5-1 and one overall. And uh, after the Michigan win, we were receiving some votes. That all went away when we lost to Louisiana Tech. We're probably not going to receive votes unless we win maybe the next three or four games in a row. But let's look at some stats really quickly. They outgained us 365 to 343. We had more rushing yards, 165 to 71. Passing yards, 294 to 178 in their favor. Uh, for an Air Force-style uh, offense, they sure threw the ball a lot. I guess they had to because they were behind. Both teams with an interception, and we recovered one lost fumble. Let's look at Conference USA West. Weber State and North Texas, the only undefeated teams in the in uh, conference play. We are 1-1, one one, as is Rice and UTSA. New Mexico State is 0-1. Texas Tech is 0-2. Let's look at some scores here in Week 7. We had three teams with buys. Rice, Weber State, New Mexico State all had the week off. We beat Old Dominion. UTSA beat uh, Falls sorry, to Middle Tennessee. North Texas over Florida Atlantic on the road, and Texas Tech fell to Southern Miss 28-14 on the road. So the four teams in the West that didn't have buys all played road games against East Division opponents. And uh, two of us won, two of us lost. Let's look at the East side of Conference USA now. Week 7 scores, Louisiana Tech beat Kansas State 17-14. to That makes me feel a little bit better about the Louisiana Tech loss last week. 
Kansas State was ranked number 21 going into the week. And Louisiana Tech gets the win over a ranked team. Middle Tennessee over UTSA. North Texas over FAU. Southern Miss over Texas Tech. And we beat Old Dominion. The only non-conference game was played by UTEP as they fell in Akron 35-24 to the Zips. So Middle Tennessee leads the East Division at 2-0. UTEP is 1-0, as is Southern Miss. Law Tech is 2-1. K-State is 1-1. FAU is 0-2. Old Dominion is 0-2. And they are over, or overall, they are 0-5. All right, our schedule as we conclude this episode. We are at the midway point. We're 5-1. And, and next week, we play the Weber State Wildcats on the road in Ogden in a rivalry game. And we'll bring that to you, uh, I believe it's coming up on Sunday, game number seven. All right, that's it. It's Mama's Basement Sports Gaming, Southern Utah Thunderbirds Dynasty.